What you guys, today we're talking about the B-Link SEI12. This is an i5-1235U. It's the mini PC that everyone seems to be talking about because of the build quality and the power of this little mini PC. This is exactly what you're going to get inside the box if you purchase it. You're going to get your user manual, and this is uh, color pictures and also uh, English language in here. And we also have all of the other bits you see on the table here. We have our wall mount, and this also comes with a little small HDMI cable, and I think it's just a standard HDMI. Yes, it is. And then we have a slightly larger HDMI cable. We also have some screws here, and we have also a power cable for the UK here. Now, if you're living in Europe or uh, overseas, you will get a cable for your country. And again, we've got the power brick here, which is the Huntkey power adapter. Now, the specs on this one, as you can see, are 19 volts, 6.32 amps, and 120 uh, watts there. So pretty low uh, power. Got your barrel connector on the end here, and we have the mini PC itself. Let's take a look at the mini PC. Now, this is something that B-Link are doing now with all of their little mini PCs. This is some sort of cloth. Uh, texture on here it is removable and there is a fan underneath here and it allows airflow to go through the top area on the front we do have the clear cmos area and we have the two type a usb 3.0 ports on here type c connector on here as well and our audio input and power button on the side we do have some more ventilation here which is a good sign and also on the other side we have more ventilation here as well to let air flow through the actual device itself. Moving on to the back of the mini PC, up the top part we have our exhaust fan to allow heat to dissipate from inside. And we have our LAN port, which is a 1 gigabit Ethernet LAN port, two USB 2.0 ports on here, and we have two HDMI inputs on here as well, which support 4K. So you can have dual monitors here and our power. Uh, for DC input here as well. Now this also comes with uh, Wi-Fi 6 AX and also Bluetooth 5.2 inside here. We'll take a look inside in a second. I'm just going to remove these four screws on the bottom here so I can gain access inside here. Now B-Link have been making massive changes to their mini PCs and uh, they're constantly evolving. And over the years, I've seen massive changes to mini PCs, and B-Link are one of the leading uh, mini PC manufacturers. As you can see, when we move this bottom plate here, we have now see that there is some sort of enclosure here where we can put in a SSD here. There is a cooler on here as well, which is going to allow to keep that cool and keep temperatures down. And this is all closed off the inside now, so we can't just see the RAM and also some of the other components inside. So I'm gonna to have to remove four screws to gain access. But this is where you can connect up your uh, actual SSD inside here. And there is a fan here to keep it cool. So let me go ahead and unscrew these four screws. They're deep down in these little corners here if you ever want to remove uh, this plate here to gain access to the RAM so you can upgrade it. But if you're happy with your mini PC, you should have no reason to remove this. I've removed the four screws and I'm just going to lever up lightly on this on both sides here to try and remove this uh, component here so we can gain access to it. Now you have to be careful here because there is a ribbon uh, cable for the fan and probably the Wi-Fi here. And it is just the fan cable, I think. So I could remove that if I wanted to. But you can see there is 16 gigabytes of crucial RAM in here. You can upgrade this to 32 if you wish. And also we have that. Uh, 500 gigabyte M.2 NVMe PCI Express 4.0 SSD in there. Now, when we've removed the top panel here, just wanted to show you this as well. You can see through here, there's like little mini perforations in here that allow air to flow through. And this is where we've got our big fan here. And this is the sort of designs that B-Link are coming up with to keep these mini PCs cool, which is great advancements. I've seen these evolve so much over the years. So let's take a look at the specifications, the full specs. So we have an Intel Core i5-1235U, uh, and this is a, a really decent processor in here. 10 cores, 12 threads on this one, 1.3 gigahertz base clock, and also 4.4 gigahertz max turbo on here. 
Memory is 16 gigabytes DDR4, 3200 megahertz, and graphics is the Intel Iris Xe graphics. Uh, we've talked about the storage, 500 gigabytes. You can upgrade this to uh, two terabytes uh, NVMe uh, PCI Express 4.0 Wi-Fi 6. Also, we've talked about the USB ports, and there is plenty of upgradability for this. Windows 11 Pro is on installed on this system when you purchase it. But all in all, a really decent little mini PC. I'll show you some of the uh, performances for it with some benchmarks. So let's go on to Geekbench and do the CPU benchmark here so you can see what it's like. So single core will give you 1,649 and the multi-core score is 7,384. Now, a lot of people will moan about the price of these mini PCs, but you're getting a really good bang for the buck and also quite a lot of good hardware inside the B-Link at mini PCs. So let's take a look at the GPU score here. We've got 13,053. So that's what we're getting for the OpenCL score, which is a pretty decent score as well. So moving on to streaming, let's do some 4K streaming here of Big Buck Bunny, 60 FPS. And I'll do a stream of this so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, there's a few drop frames right at the very beginning of the startup of the stream but once it stabilizes you don't get any drop frames and it runs really silky smooth as you can see here no problems whatsoever so you can use this on plex and things like that would be great for a plex server and things like that uh, if you're looking for some sort of streaming device so this one is jellyfish 400 mbps 4k ultra hd hevc 10 bit you can see it's silky smooth i can even drag it across and restart it and it doesn't have any issues at all with that sometimes you get a little freeze on lower end systems but this one plays straight away now the temperatures are pretty good i'm going to give this a quick torture test here just to see what it maxes out like and whether there's any issues i'm going to do a stress test here now this is pretty extreme you're never going to be coming across this sort of uh, event in your life with these mini pcs but you can see the temperature starts to climb rapidly as it would uh, because it's a CPU torture test at max CPU. And you can see the temperatures are pretty good here. They're staying under 90 here. And uh, we do have some thermal throttling as expected uh, with this sort of uh, sort of test. But it is keeping under 90. It goes to 90 back down. And you can see it's stabilizing there. Which is pretty impressive for a mini PC like this. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Now going on to the time spy. 1,346 score, which is pretty impressive also. Moving on down to the GPU Night Raid, and this is 13,413, which is all about the GPU. So pretty good there. Now, if you want to use this as some sort of uh, playing device where you can play movies and things like that, it should have no problems at all. You can play 4K movies on here, no problem whatsoever. So this mini PC should do everything that you want it to do. Now, people always talk about gaming. It's never really going to be an out-and-out -out gaming machine playing AAA titles at, say, 1080p or higher, uh, because it just can't. It's just too much of an ask for a mini PC like this. But playing retro games like these with an upscale of three times, it can handle this no problem whatsoever. So if you're looking to play games like Grand Theft Auto and things like that, yes, you can, but you would only be able to play those at 720p and also you'd only get around about 25 to 30 FPS for games like that. So bear that in mind. It's only these sort of games that are going to be able to play on there. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I'm going to wrap this one up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or in the very next video. Bye for now. <music>